decisions. If he decides, I don't want to pay 5420, what are the means that he has at his disposal? So, you know, a lot of people have talked about the fact that the deal has a, a breakup fee and that, you know, people say that he could just pay this billion dollar breakup fee and walk away. That's not true. Um, this deal actually includes, a, it's, it's seller friendly, so it includes this legal provision called specific performance, which basically means if Musk decides he wants to walk away, Twitter can take him to court and get a court order that says you have to complete this deal, you have to come up with the financing, and you have to pay for Twitter. Um, other options that he could take is he could try to show that there was something called a material adverse event. Um, it's a MAC clause. And he could say, you know, there is like some change to the business that materially for a sustained period of time is going to change Twitter's outlook. Um, but the burden of proof is on him. He would have to show this. So him saying, uh, you know, Twitter, I'm not going through with this deal until you prove to me that bots make up fewer than 5% of accounts. That's not, right. tw Twitter doesn't have to prove anything. Um, the other thing is he waived his right to due diligence when he was going about this deal and presented that as something that, uh, you know, was a, a vote in favor of the deal. He said, you know, I'm someone who's going to be able to do this quickly. I, I won't even do diligence. And so kind of doesn't have a leg to stand on. And then finally, Twitter has made public disclosures about the fact that, uh, you know, it estimates that the bots make up fewer than 5% of accounts. But it's also in securities filings said, including in its, you know, most recent 10K said, the number could be higher than that. So it, right. it, for the people I talked to say that it would be, a, a judge would be hard pressed to agree with Musk on this. Um, what could right. happen is, you know, he could walk, he could try to walk away. Uh, Twitter could take him to court. Um, and then in order to avoid some, you know, lengthy protracted court battle, um, there could be a scenario where the two, Right. come to some settlement but at this point um the, from my understanding you know twitter does not have any reason to renegotiate a deal the the contract is in their favor um and so it seems like the deal has to go ahead unless unless musk can prove that there's some uh, right. you know material adverse effect to the business Me meantime tom we're zeroed in on the share price right you know we, we saw the sell-off in twitter stock accelerate with the broader market but basically there's skepticism from the market that 54.20 cents materializes. Meantime, Elon Musk is tweeting a lot about his political affiliations. Yep. yep. And we wonder, is this him getting ahead of scrutiny of a deal? Is this him trying to get allies in DC? What's your read? Sure, there's a couple things going on. He talked about his disillusionment with the Democrats, how in the next election he's voting Republican, and this is apparently the first time he's done it. I haven't seen his voting records, but that's what he's saying. So what's interesting about that, you have a couple dynamics going on. This is a guy whose market is moving, is shifting. He, he this started in California, his company started in California, he's moved it to Texas, he's shifting toward wanting to sell trucks. He's got a different constituency. The market for electronic vehicles in California anyway is saturated. He needs to embrace a whole new constituency. People who drive trucks, different constituency than the Californians who are buying EVs. Right. So that's one side of the equation. The other side of the equation is, as you pointed out, there's a lot of scrutiny around this deal, and there's a lot of scrutiny around uh, around Tesla and his, and his management of Tesla, whether it's NHTSA, whether it's the SEC looking at things he's tweeted about sales of Tesla stock, and reportedly the, the SEC is looking into the timing of his disclosure around the uh, the Twitter state. Right. So the government is already scrutinizing a lot about Elon Musk right. and what he says and potential uh, manipulation of securities. And so this could be him just getting ahead of it and saying, look, I told you so. Well, we knew this was already happening. We didn't need Elon to tell us. SEC, NHTSA, these agencies have already been doing it for months. Michelle, very quickly, five seconds. What's the probability of this deal happening? I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Tom? At 5420, I don't think it happens. I think there's some kind of... So, welcome to Tuck Notes, beginner stock talk. Um, what you just saw right there is um, the media and basically them kind of, uh, I don't know, seemed like kind of one neutral, trying to stay neutral, another person trying to bash Elon or Tesla. 
another one that's like not a believer. And so this is getting down to like the robot um, optimist that is able to detect like pretty much any information about you, me, or anyone. And if there's anything negative, it'll bring you down. If, 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 if you get in his way is what I'm seeing. Um, you will get definitely highlighted with a yellow highlighter. Um, but uh, for moving forward, this is information from yesterday. I'll get you updated on more information on Twitter stock. I just haven't had the time or Twitter, uh, this whole Twitter thing. But um, moving forward, we pushed with Tesla, we pushed down through 600 and uh, we went down to 633. Um, and I just have this feeling that um, if you're still watching this video, uh, there's a tweet I'm gonna put up and I read it as $516. And it couldn't be possibly more clear to me. Um, and I'm curious what you think of it. So let me know in the comments when I post it. Um, followed by the code of what I think I'm doing. I don't know. I think I'm doing something right. I mean, there's more people watching this, so something has to be doing something. Anyways, be careful out there. It's crazy. It's wild. And uh, just travel light. Wait. I don't know. I don't want to tell you what to do. But I love you. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for watching my videos and subscribing to Tuck Notes. Um, and liking the videos. Peace.